Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys what was going through my mind as I embarked on this new painting. I think like one of the reason I wanted to do this was because a lot of people who aren't artists or who may just be starting out to become an artist maybe under a lot of um, different assumptions that aren't true one of the assumptions is that it's every painting that someone does who is, art who is an artist or who has been doing art for a very long time that is every painting that they do they love and that is not true actually a lot of times it can be further from the truth because really and truly every single painting that someone does no matter the artist's level of expertise goes through a process where the painting looks unfinished. And some people looking at the painting in this stage will say like ill or describe it as being ugly. And actually, to be honest, I'm actually quite guilty of that. I was quite guilty of that in this painting. And sometimes the painting needs to be changed. Sometimes the painting actually doesn't look good. So I'm not saying that every single painting looks great and has potential to be great. But many more times I think it's just unfinished and we tend to quit it art when it's not going our way or we get frustrated. And sometimes we tend to quit it things when it doesn't turn out the way we want it to as well. This particular painting I actually felt like to bin it. Yes, I felt like to scrap it midway through because I was going through so much different obstacles doing it. Like my camera kept going blurry and I was completely unaware of that. I had the music going on in my room. So I was just painting away, enjoying the music and just, you know, rocking to the, the beat while painting. And I had no idea that the camera was blurry so that's why I kept changing location the location that I was painting on I started painting on a white desk and then I changed the location to my bed I always go back to painting on my bed when I feel a little bit frustrated with my art because it relaxes me and you know there's a lot of room for me to put my camera stand for me to put my lamp I have an LED lamp so the blurriness was one of the problem and the paper that I was painting on kept buckling and on top of that I was painting this at night so there was like this yellow lamp in the room as well as well as my LED lamp that I was using on my bed and it doesn't really help when it comes to recording a video at night to have a yellow light in the room it sort of shows up a little bit in the video hopefully you guys don't notice that too much Basically, the point I'm trying to make with all this rambling is that it's always better to finish a thing, whether it be art or, or a piece of artwork or school or homework or whatever, even if the process doesn't look like what you thought it should have been. And in hindsight, they always say, hindsight is a very good thing. So in hindsight, looking back, I am glad I finished this painting instead of scrapping it because it turned out great plus I grew a little bit more as a person and also as an artist and hopefully I've inspired someone along the way with my art and I do find it very hilarious because when I finish when I started to paint this painting before I did the voiceover and stuff I, all, I actually wanted to make it like a tutorial of how to paint watercolor skin tone in mid-tone skin tone mid like so there's a light skin tone dark skin tone middle skin tone I wanted this painting to be like a middle skin tone so I'm just gonna quickly list what I use in this video for those who are still interested in doing that so basically what I use in this this picture is of course watercolor I use yellow and orange for the base of her skin and I use black for her hair and to darken her skin I use an opposite color or I use burnt sienna I just mix it in 
and I'm using a reference from Pinterest and bo both paint and the painting that you see to the left of the screen also a picture from Pinterest and that is the first painting I did and, I, and it inspired me to do this painting and to record my process and my thought process behind it and yeah that's really it I painted it and then for each layer I allow it to dry and then I go back and I painted the exact same layer again using the exact same colors and I allow that to dry and I just kept building up layers on and layers until I was happy with it and that's it really I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you took away something from it that maybe will um, help you in your own process when it comes to doing art and your, in your own thought process as well when you come to think about the way you do art and the way you approach art and I will see you guys next time in another video